Well, here's the internals. Here's the shroud for the CPU. So you got two fans there, two intake fans for the CPU, fan for the uh, cooling the PCI Express cards, four DIMM slots, DDR4. Right now I just have two 16 gigs and one eight, gigabit, uh, eight gigabyte stick installed. Only shows up as 40 gigabytes of RAM. Whatever, I haven't bought a uh, eight gigabyte stick yet to equal it out, even though I don't like having the two channels different sizes, but it's whatever. There's the internal connection for the back plane for the hard drives. Internal USB 3.0, that's the one you can boot from, so that's very, very nice, convenient to have. Here's the PCI Express riser, dual X8 slots, very easy to swap out. Just pops right out. Yeah, slot, slot, and the graphics card, the one for the PCI Express X16, it just has a longer slot for the uh, GPU. That's it. But yeah, just pops right in. Very simple, no frills. And let's see, there's the two internal SATA ports. This one's the SATA NGFF port that can go to one of the internal PCI Express cards if you have one. And there's the one for the CD-ROM drive if, if it was equipped. So in theory, you could have two, well, one card, one PCI Express card with dual NVMEs or two PCI Express cards with SATA each. And you would just have to have or run your own SATA cable from each one to each one of the NVMEs. There's the connection for the trusted platform module. There's the internal micro SD card slot that you can, could boot from. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. There's the CD-ROM drive connector for power for the CD-ROM drive. There's the ILO chipset for ILO, HP's version of iDRAC. There's the RAM chip for the, uh, or actually the ROM chip, I'm sorry, for the ILO, for the dual, dual BIOS. That is mostly it. Um, there's the extra fan slot that I was talking about, or the little fan section, but there's no additional fan header, so I don't know why they put that additional cage on there. Maybe you could adapt one and add a third, which would be kind of neat, I guess, blowing directly across the RAM chips, or RAM sticks, but yeah. It's right on. This unit runs very, very cool. Even when it's running, the heat sink never really gets hot, even when under a partial load. There's the power supply. This one's a single, non-redundant unit. The dual redundant units takes up the same size, just a yeah, larger capacity, 900 watts. That's it for the internals.